So, uh, Matthias Wikström, CEO, co-founder of Deconomy. Uh, we've been working for six years with a methodology in calculating carbon footprint on transactions, products, as well as lifestyle, the latest. And what if we can turn the code red into a code green? I have a daughter who's 15, I have a son who is 12, and they wonder why in the world I'm flying to Zurich. And I'm flying to Zurich because I'm hoping that every time I go to a place like this, at least one person representing 10,000 people will pick up on the idea and help shape a language around impact in something we do every day. So, <clears throat> we want to engage the many and educate around their impact on the planet. In Sweden, 60% of your carbon footprint is linked to the consumption choices that you make. And we believe that if we can connect environmental calculations to all transactions, to all production and to all companies, transparency, radical transparency will be in play that will educate and engage consumers and create a, both a push and a pull component out of a sustainability perspective. This is obviously going to be regulatory sooner rather than later. That's why we're working alongside the science and academia to support those efforts. Our ambition is to educate one billion users, to have them reduce one metric ton per year per person. It's a large number, as we have already been in the making uh, in the API component on transaction level for two years, but we have already collaboration with 20 plus banks in 25 plus markets representing 400 million users. We consider uh, 101 of them active. So, to us, hope is data plus insights, the function of data driven insights, connected to repeated behavior over and over again. The problem is really not the CO2 equivalence, it's the lack of action and the lack of leadership as well as language. I think leadership is getting in place, language is still missing. We see a lot of um, newcomers in this field as carbon is sort of the new gold. There will be a lot of new gold diggers, but they will wash away. This is not a sprint, this is a marathon. Everyone has a footprint. And what we want to do is to motivate, every, motivate each and every one to take action on it. This is not out of the BP playbook, pushing responsibility on the individual. This is about making the individual understand their impact and to act on it. So, <coughs> working with MasterCard for a few years, they did a survey just 10 months ago, stating that 85% of adults are willing to take climate action in 2021. And we want to make your impact count. Shaping an ecosystem based on transactions, based on products, personal, corporate, and social impact. We have a white label app SDKs and a do card in the Swedish market as a sandbox supporting the transaction impact. We're working with product impact from the 2030 calculator enabling any SME to calculate the carbon footprint of products cradle to gate. The lifestyle calculator on personal impact was launched at COP26 together with our partner, uh, the United Nations. So the UNFCCC as well as the economy invested in making uh, lifestyle calculable in every market of the world. It's already live in 110 countries. And we're also working on a corporate impact dashboard to be able to report in line with the soft regulatory with the EU taxonomy. I think they're voting tomorrow, right? Working on transactions, scoring each and every merchant category code so that people can take action on their insights as well as uh, providing their friends with opportunities in understanding their impact too. So uh, we have, coming back to the scientific and the academia perspective, working with Stockholm School of Economics, Center for Sustainable Consumption, there isn't enough research done in this space yet. But there will be, and we support that, I'm working with our partners, providing the data to substantiate that research. We went live two days ago in Taiwan and Pakistan together with our partners Standard and & Chartered. And with Klarna, I think we're live in 20 markets. Uh, and there is obviously quite a lot more to come. We're the only one calculating both carbon and water. I call it the surf and turf. 
And it's important because it illustrates the interconnectivity. We, can't, we have to avoid this carbon tunnel vision and understand that everything has uh, impact, not only carbon. We're looking at biodiversity, land use. We're looking at the social component, gender equality, and so forth going forward. So with that said, 25% of the clients of our oldest partner claim that they have reduced their impact just by being exposed to the metrics which is a high number if you're representing 400 million users, of course. Uh, MasterCard, one of our partners since a few years, has integrated our methodology in their global transaction platform, enabling 3 billion credit card holders or payment card holders to activate this methodology once their bank flipped the switch. We also calculate on product level as we want to go more granular, enabling everyone to understand where should I direct my hand on the shelf. So, we built the 2030 calculator, a light LCA tool enabling every SME to do carbon footprint calculations on product level, reducing barriers of cost, complexity, but also providing a language that makes it easier to understand and a UX that is actually quite brilliant looking, I would say. These urgent results will drive behavior pre-purchase instead of post-purchase measurements. The lifestyle calculator that we did with the UN, just launched in Glasgow, will shape the fundamental understanding of CO2 emissions to begin with. We can't expect everyone to know exactly everything that we do in this room at a conference focusing on these things. I don't wake up in the morning thinking of CO2. I wake up in the morning thinking, is my kid sick today or is he better? So, transparency-driven responsibility for people and planet. And in a conference like this, obviously also for profit, if we can make it profitable to save the planet, it will be saved in no time. This is not a experiment short term. We've been working with this for years. We're teaming up with the best in the world in regard of payment tech, in regard of science, in regard of academia. And the bottom line is that we don't want the believers to believe. We don't want some people to do everything. We want all people to be able to do something, connected to something they do every day. Thank you very much.